Okay, so it's getting pitch black outside. We have ordered pizza um, because we are too lazy and too tired to start cooking. And we, or I, am getting some company tonight in the van. I'm not gonna sleep alone. And it's not a guy. It's Zoe and Fan. <laughs> Okay, so a lot of changes have happened and I absolutely love it. So I have Fen here and I have Zoe sitting there with Dan at the moment. And Zoe and Fen is staying in my van for a few days. So I'm like trying to get a lot of space in here. So I'm like, oh, you can put your stuff here. You can put your stuff here. And it's very interesting to get like a tiny to live in a tiny home and you're suddenly gonna live two people and a dog in it and uh it's absolutely amazing we had some wine yesterday we like rearranged the van a bit and uh it's gonna be fun like for a few days i have a roommate and i absolutely love it and we are actually finding her a van and so that's why we have moved up to another uh, place at the moment is to actually look at a van for her so we are maybe gonna build a van down here in just a few days we're gonna be um loads of people building the van and um it's gonna be fun it's gonna be so much fun so yeah that's the situation for that so suddenly i have a dog and a girlfriend <laughs> in the kitchen but I do know how to make pancakes hopefully she says she says yeah <laughs> let's see if they are eatable <laughs> they're definitely eatable it looks good though doesn't it yes yeah <laughs> you can now call me pancake queen I have my mask on because I'm too close to her <laughs> you know, safety first right yeah safety first it's better be delicious Where's the cream? Might be here. It's actually vanilla protein and strawberry. Such a health fruit. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this, guys. Mm. Okay, pancakes are ready. <laughs> Who's happy? <laughs> Go get sorry. After pancakes, they get coffee. <laughs> Then? See? Oh, yes, yes. Is Ah, <laughs> Thank you. You want to come? It's hot. <laughs> okay, so update at the moment is that I've been busy in work and I also went for a run. And but Zoe, Jonah, and Dan went to look at a new van for Zoe. So they found this really, really cute van, like it's super tiny, but we're going to make it work and we're really, really going to do like, uh, and we're going to do like really, really cozy interior in it. 
So uh, it's going to be so exciting to see it. I don't know if they will bring it home today or if they will go back tomorrow, but it will be amazing. So that is the update for now. And she sent me a video of the van and uh, people walking past and looking at me like, what is she doing? <laughs> uh, but yeah, so that's the update for now and I cannot wait to see it. And then we got loads of work to do. This is going to be insane. It's going to be so exciting. I literally went out in my slippers and cozy pants, bringing a Coke Zero and going into my neighbor and i think i chose a really really good neighbor because she is baking me <laughs> what are you making like swedish it is swedish fika time yes. <laughs> i love it say you do You put chocolate in the middle as well. Mm -hmm. How good was it, Dan? I'm still eating it. It's still good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good morning. Um, so today I thought that we're gonna go into the neighborhood again. Um, well, not really, but um, Dan, a guy that's been traveling with us, um, for a while now, back and forth as well. Um, I thought I'm gonna do like a mini van tour in his van. But because we have to do it early and everyone is apparently always asleep when I'm awake. So, well, I guess I just have to bring him coffee to get him up and then we can do the van tour. Morning. We have a van tour to make, so I thought I'd wake you up. Hi! <laughs> okay, let's see if um, Dan is ready. Hello! I'm ready. You're ready. You were born ready, weren't you? <laughs> How are you? Was the coffee good? Yeah, I mean, when I'm moving up every morning, coffee from you, Amanda. So I love your van. This is actually a much bigger van than I have. Yeah, it's and it's really, really it's cozy. A a bus. Yeah, it actually is. And so tell me about this. That for how long have you been living in the van for? Since June 2020. So oh, wow. Eight months now, is it? Yeah? Yeah. Cool. And I have not looked back. What made you um, live van life? Why did you start? So I started... I left the military after 10 years. I wanted like more freedom, more space to do whatever I want and travel wherever I want. So I actually said to my ex-girlfriend, I want to travel a van and uh, around Europe and like, build a little, uh, live the van life. And she was like, who do you think you are, Indiana Jones? And <laughs> no, she Kind of looked like Indiana <laughs> Jones. <laughs> So yeah, and I was like, okay, I'm going, I don't care. <sighs> and here I am. And here you are. Well, I'm very happy to have met you and I cannot wait to show everyone a little bit more about your van. Yeah. So, um, yeah, show me around. I don't know where you want to start. We're not going to go in here because at the moment that's where all my equipment is. We just shoved it all in the front. <laughs> my trusty guitar, I don't travel anywhere without it. It's been, it's been many places in the world. Uh, in here is where I keep all my bedding, and then I've got a huge mirror so that you, other people can check themselves out. Yeah, I you never do. I don't need to. No, then, you uh, never do. I'm it's always, just for other people. I so, always look pretty. So thoughtful of you. And then here is my bathroom. Yeah. Or shower room or wet room. And it's nice. That is a proper wet room. Yeah, yeah. You haven't seen this before, have you? No. Yeah, and then the shower's up here, and then it's got a ventilation system. Oh wow. So yeah. Probably the hardest thing that I built in here. Yeah. But yeah, everything is right, apart from this here, this little IKEA drawer. Apart from that, everything else is like hand built. And I can promise you now the only thing I'd ever built before I built this van was a IKEA bed. That's <laughs> it. 
And then I went on YouTube, I was like, right, how do you do this? How do you do this? How do you do this? And slowly learn and then just, I'd spend hours sitting here thinking about the design and then I'd do it and then I'd change it. And how long did it take for you to build I'd say about a thousand hours. It took over a year to build. Over a year? I, I was working a full-time job, but yeah. I had help from a friend, Adam, who helped me with the electrics and the plumbing, but other than that, everything else was me. So yeah, so you can do it with no experience. People are like, oh, I can't do it, I've never, like. Oh, well, if we can do it, everyone can do it. Exactly. <laughs> I got my twin combo hob sink with, oh, with running water. Um, and this is just like a flexi hose underneath. Cut loose roll and my solar powered fridge, the CRX50 uh, drawers that I've made. It's just like my little food cupboard. Cool, and I love these as well. Yeah, and then that all that is is the lids are just screwed to the, the top, and then they keep all my teas and coffees. But Absolutely I don't need teas and coffees because I get coffee from you. Yeah, <laughs> but you're not going to travel with me for the rest of your life, no, maybe. <laughs> no, I'm not. No, I'm not. Um, and then in the back, I've got the table which folds down into the bed, so it just pushes down, and then underneath here. I built more storage, so I had a raised platform. Yeah. Um, this is what I would love to do if I did it again, like actually raise the floor a bit. Yeah. It's well, absolutely light, amazing. Then, yeah. And then underneath here and underneath where I'm sitting is just extra storage. Amazing. Um, this is what you make to a bed, right? Yeah, so this turns into a bed, this comes down, um, and then another ventilation system here, and then I've got my home cinema system, which is just a mini projector little usb thing that connects to wi-fi bluetooth it connects to the speakers above my head so when i'm lying here i've got surround sound when i get in the table just comes around ah. now we need another coffee we do i'm gonna fix that <laughs> <laughs> but yeah amazing let's go in the back and see how you've done it there <laughs> see we use this to open the doors <laughs> I've got my two kite boards, um, and then I bought a TRX and put two carabiners at the top. So this is what I use to work out, you know how much working out means to us. Yep. And then I've got like weights and stuff underneath there. Um, spare tyre because I've got an underslung water tank. And yeah, table, a little fold-up table, fold-up chairs. Everything you need. Everything, yeah. yeah. Um, if there's one thing that you would change in the van, like if you would do it all again, what would you change? A bigger sink. A all, bigger all, sink. All based. So I cook a lot of Asian meals with a huge wok. And yeah. Wash that wok in that sink. Doesn't so work. a bigger sink. A bigger sink and more water. More water. Wait. Uh, and if someone that's watching this wants to start van life, what is your like biggest tip or like first thing that they should think of? whether you want to stand up or whether you don't want to stand up in the van. Yeah. Because so many people go for smaller vans and then regret it because they want to be able to stand up. Okay, cool. And if uh, people want to follow you, see more of you, what do they do? Where do they go? Yeah, so my full van tour is on my YouTube channel. Perfect. Uh, which is Life Begins at 30. Uh, I'm sure we can link it in there as well. Yeah, I'm going to link it below. So yeah, if you want the full van tour, which is 25 minutes long, if you can handle that. They go, can. Go and watch it and also, on my Instagram, life begins at 30. So uh, hit the links below, guys, and check Dan's van life out. It is quite amazing, quite adventurous in your life, actually. <laughs> cool, thank you, bye. Good morning. Right now, um, as usual, I'm up before the sun is up, but it's just about to come up, and I'm gonna show you this amazing place. Right now, it's actually just me and Maya, so we changed place last night and to wake up here is absolutely amazing. It is so beautiful, so peaceful. We literally parked straight on the beach and um, it's just going to be me and her for a few days. So, Zoe and John, I went away to look at another van because the other one didn't work out. And now I think they've gone down to Marbella. And probably next week we will all head down to Tarifa. 
So now it's me and Maya for a few days and I will head up to Malaga this weekend. This place is absolutely stunning, literally. It's insane. And to wake up with this bird singing. Can you hear it? It's so beautiful. Okay, so usually I go on a morning walk and then I hit the gym in the afternoon, but Maya and I are gonna do some filming and photo shooting today in the afternoon and I don't wanna take the van to the gym because the parking spot we have now is literally always like occupied and really hard to get into. So I'm like, well, it's gone on a 5K run with a backpack to the gym go work out and then 5k run back why not <laughs> maybe i will walk back because otherwise i will be so sweaty again so I just rearranged my day and this will it's gonna be a fun day so me and maya are having a super focused <laughs> We're having a really really fun day today like I've been at the gym and now we are gonna have a day full of photo shooting and filming and this is really really exciting and I just saw her camera and I got pretty scared of it look at the size of the camera is she, that big? I think that I really need to perform <laughs> now as a model <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ uh, but yeah we're excited we're gonna have an amazing day and it's just the two of us here and this day is yeah. absolutely amazing people on the beach playing around it's so beautiful it's bloody brilliant bloody brilliant <laughs> that's it for now <laughs> Okay, so Maya is allergic to nuts, so she gave me this. Uh, is it just me who can finish like chocolate in, I don't know, less than two minutes? Seriously, I cannot have sugar at home, in my van, at home, whatever, without finishing it in like two seconds. I am addicted to chocolate. But I guess I deserved it after today's really really amazing photo shoot and filming and we did a really good job so successful day and i'm very happy of the result i don't know about this woman though how happy are you it was a brilliant day i'm very happy sometimes we have really productive and amazing days and sometimes yeah. we have more lazy days right? i feel like we've got a lot of things done today yeah, yeah. we did absolutely did and you see how beautiful van she has? It might happen that someday, maybe, don't know, that we will have a van tour. Ooh. I'm gonna ask nicely if we can do a van tour in Maya's van. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we're happy for today and we had an amazing day. And I mean, just look at this, like seriously, it is absolutely beautiful. 